There's no greater love for the man should lay down his life for his friend. Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. We are most privileged. Hallelujah. Why should we distrust him? Why should we fear him? When we should cling more closely to him. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's take one more hymn as we wait for those who have uh, testimonies. If we have some, please let me... Okay. So let's take... Uh, Courage, brother, 268. You know, to some people who heard about the demise of our sister, they may be down... They may be feeling very weak and worried, tired of everything. We need to take courage. Number 268. We are at the very end. This is when Satan is deceiving many people, giving them false hopes. We must know who we are following. Who we trust, we must know. Because that person you are following, where he is going, that's where you will go. Don't be scared to move away from the norm and do what is right. Praise the Lord. 268 Courage Brother. Courage Brother. Do not stumble, oh my God, be down at last night. There's a star to guide the humble, trust in God and do the Yeah. 
to um, work on those that want to share very short memory of our sister, our mother, our auntie. We want to please ask that those that have been living around her that knows her very well or you have had an experience with her in whatever form to please come forward and let us know what it was like staying with mama and living close to mama if you're around the barracks or if you don't business in whatever form with her please i would like you to meet brother kinsley and put down your name or you can even walk forward you can even walk forward walk towards me i'll hand over the microphone to you to please let us know how it was like having Mama around. That experience with Mama. Very quickly, I want to welcome Elder Asogwa. Maybe he has a testimony or a short memory to give the Elder. I'm still, I'm still expecting the neighbors, I'm still expecting those living around the barracks, that those mama to please come forward and share your short memory with, with, with us. Amen. Amen and amen. My name is uh, Eda Asogwa, one of the elders in uh, Lagos Church, Life Assurance Tabernacle. I'm here to say one or two things concerning the life of our precious sister and mother. Very precious to us as a church, we don't know how to Say it, but the Lord Almighty knows everything. Just like my brother said, there is time for everything, time to be born and time to die. And now we have assembled here in respect of our dear sister and mother. Up to this hour, I still don't believe that our sister is no more with us. I got the information through my precious pastor when I was in the village 
attending to some family issues. I got the message very early in the morning on that fateful day. I could not believe it. I cleaned my face to know whether I was seeing well, whether it was another thing. I couldn't convince myself. I put a, a telephone call across to my fellow elder, and uh, when I called him, he could not speak up. He got choked up because he could not relate the news to me. I realized that it was really a fact. Honestly, we lost a mother. But as I said, it's God. If it is God's will, which I know is God's will, there's nothing we as a church can say or do. Because if God says yes, nobody can say no. And I am happy that our sister was a believer. And that is the greatest thing and the greatest joy. Amen, amen and amen. 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 He lived a very wonderful life. Was very caring. Very motherly. Very generous. To the extent that, honestly, even my family was, you know, giving a very serious, generous attention by our mother. All around the barracks, we hear of his lifestyle, her lifestyle. Even his son, our precious pastor, used to narrate to us how his her house is the food basket of the barracks that is to say that many people come to her house to be fed they come there to eat because she was always generous with the feeding people when there are accidents along this road it's always mama that come to attend to them because he's living close to the road she will come and attend to them help them to the hospital, even people Mama does not know. So, in the church, Mama was always generous, giving, even to the extent that her spouse, she shares her spouse, to young, young children. My son was giving a foul. I came home one day, say, Mama, give me a foul. And the foul had been laying eggs. To so many people, just like that, giving clothing, giving food, giving money. In the church, Mama, will, the children will assemble around Mama. We gather around her. Mama will be buying biscuits, doing all sorts of things. Any day the children did not see Mama, they will not be happy in the church. I don't know how the children can bear this loss. But I know that God in heaven will encourage the children and encourage the church. Amen. Mama lived a very generous life, a wonderful life. Honestly, there was one story our pastor narrated to us just about the generosity of Mama, that when in the leaf eh, there was a problem and they were going home, pastor was a student then, and then somebody they did not know, a woman, when they were in trouble in the night, fed them. And later they discovered that the woman died long ago. And the woman gave them food and protected them. Because there was riot in the leaf at that time. And in the morning, they could not, where they slept was an abandoned house. And the neighbors came and discovered that you are, there were people there. And they were surprised. Here they described the woman that fed them. They said the woman had gone. And the woman made a statement to the pastor and his friends and said, she did this because of the mother. You begin to wonder what kind of woman. Honestly, we don't know how to bear it. But we thank God Almighty for everything. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much. Amen.
Thank you, sir. We want to use this to welcome the ministers that are present here. We um, welcome Pastor Che. We welcome our brother and our pastor and elder in faith, Brother Bini Joseph. And also want to apologize if your name is not mentioned. Lord knows you are here. Amen. And you are welcome in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want us to be upstanding as we get ready to listen to the word of God. Amen. In the sweet by and by we shall live on the beautiful shore. In the sweet by and by That is far yeah, in number what is that? In number five three.
grace, we shall meet them. If I will not be alone, I will pray that you will not be found wanting. I do a new way. I will not be alone. The Lord bless you. He will not be alone. Just to go straight to the point. Go straight to the point. Can Lord have a seat? Go for a row. Without wasting time. Life here. Go for show for. Uh, we are grateful to be here. We do what do. Let you want it. We thank our God Almighty. As He do pray the our Lord, our Lord tomorrow, the givers of life. Anything for the new year and the keeper of life. Are there anything for the year anymore? The giver of eternal life. Anything for the new year, any person. We thank God for His holy name. I do pray the our Lord on for you come tomorrow. Amen. And then we thank. Him also for the life of our late mother. Ben on ya to do by the our Lord on four you be a yeti ya what your sweet your be especially for giving her eternal life. That is in the top of our joy. Ni mata ti pe Allah fun ni ya ni pe fun e yi le o lori ayo wa. Without that. Everything we are doing here tonight has no meaning. Lies, you pay or no money. I never go on for forty. I shall be near. Shall I? It will be near. Or lay here. Go need to know. But we are happy, and we are celebrating. To go in the world, no. Then we are sincere joy. We are celebrating and rejoicing in the sense that our faith is telling us that our mother. Has gone to a place of rest, a place of peace, a place where they will never die again. You know what? Do that's the share of joy. On top of a new bag, walk away in Yahweh. Oh, the Lord, He be a lasher. He be a yo. He be a yo. He be a kumo. So we bless the name of the Lord for that. For it, ye afi buku foru konua. The short things we are. By the grace of God, going to share with you. Or a kukuru, a tiao by Isha Bakwire, the party of our Lord. It's not a premeditated message. Isha was to tell at the road, not me, Pare, tell it. Because as I was just coming down from the vehicle, the pastor met me and said, You are going to give us a short message. It was wow. His mother is my mother. Because we are one in Christ. So we just like every one of us to please listen to the short things. We are going to say. For the year, our local local one, that the thirty thousand, that the boy, our people, our team, so because uh, I don't know, I don't know everything we are saying or we are going to say tonight. I don't know whether they like that is our mother. I don't know whether they are hearing us. The Bible did not tell us that whether they are hearing us or they are not. Hearing us, whether they are seeing us or they are not seeing us, but you and I, we are still here. So whatever we are going to say tonight, I'm seeing you. You are seeing me. Our mother, whether she's hearing us or not, we don't know. We don't see her. We don't know whether they are seeing us, but we are seeing one another, and we are still here. So let's just. Uh, the best respect we can give to her is to listen, and uh, I know God will surely bless us tonight. Amen. Oh, what your dad, you lost your little two more. Oh, no, you pay that thirty cent. Let the boy or all long. We hit your long. You pay a shilling. You don't pay a meal more. You pay those fees. You pay more. 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 C O T or no, ni kwa ni ashale ye. Please, let's bow down our heads. Ejaka teri wa ba fu adra.
Lord God Almighty, the giver of life, the preservers of life. We give thanks to you. Thank you, Lord. We give praises to your name. Hallelujah. We say, Blessed be your holy name, Father. Hallelujah. Tonight, I pray, Lord, that you speak to your people. Amen. Amen. One something that will cause everyone to think about him or her life. For it is better to go to a place of mourning than to go to a place of feast. Therefore, though we are not mourning, but we are mourning because of the temporary physical separation that takes place between us and our mother. We don't like our going. We don't like our leaving us. But we have no option. God has the final say. Amen. Therefore, tonight, I pray. I know you have already comforted the, the children and all the relatives. We say, Blessed be your holy name, Father. Hallelujah. In Jesus' precious name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Let's turn our Bible. And as we rise up, to the book of St. John, chapter 12. I read verse 1 to 1. Okay. Let's read from verse 2 to St. There they made him a supper. And Martha served. But Lazarus was one of them that sat at the table with him. Then took Mary a pound of ointment of spikenard, very costly, and anointed the feet of Jesus, and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the odor of the ointment. Then said one of his disciples, Judas is the carrot, Simon's son, which should betray him. Why was not this ointment sold for 300 pence and given to the poor? Then he said, no, is this he said, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief and had the bag and bear what was put therein. Then said Jesus, Let I alone against the day of my bearing has she kept this. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. Let her alone. Against the day of my bearing has she kept this. Then the book of Ecclesia, chapter yes. 7, also told us something. He will only was to originate as a also, or a kind of weapon, you look at that. Like, a good name is better than precious ointment, and the day of death than the day of one's birth. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Lord Jesus, we pray that you bless your word. Amen. And minister to us from it. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 I think uh, the purpose of wake keeping is to tell ourselves 
the line. That is the good line that the deceased had lit. Morope, he read it. He paid your for the red. He oh no, the light is so he read the aye. She mama wa tabi ni tio suni. He tio tibe ni ba tio wale aye. Yeah, that's why I said I don't know whether they are hearing us or not. He did not move his own shadi pe ni o moboya a wong bawa tabi wong bawa. But we gathered together and we are testifying to the good life he lived. And what is the purpose of that? The purpose of that is that I will hear it. And you will hear it. And take it to your heart. And learn from it. And go home. And change your way of life. He did anyway, you all for him, no, you for out he kept calling Nure, out he went, caught he am calling Nure, out Munole, out if he be a yewa, a tishewa, a yipada. Because it is certain that as we gather together this evening, because of our late mother, if the Lord tarry, they are going to gather together like this because of me. One of these things. As we are preaching the funeral of somebody, somebody one of these days is going to preach your funeral. And somebody will dig your grave. And somebody will give testimony about your life. No, it's not something you can you cannot mock somebody because he died. Because you too you are going to die. It's a debt that every human being owes. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So we just pray that as we have given our life to the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord will help us to live a life that is worthy of their gospel. And when we are preaching the funeral, so this uh, evening, I will topic this little message, the best barrier. The best barrier. The best barrier. The best wake keeping. Oh no, if we just for the answer or the bit I'm calling it for, oh no, we call it your dad, you know. Because we have way, we have time of doing things. You know, we are here now. As in here, we put up a man she only room for. But it's better to do it in the best way. You go all that that man she only up a man she. Cause she only on the dad, you know. And everybody like the best. But when you're not in fair, oh, the dad, you know. Hallelujah. Amen. The best. Barrier. There are many barriers. Oh, the reason it couldn't be There's no human being that died and they will not bury. Either he's rich or he's poor. Either he died without child or with many children. He or she will surely be buried. Boya o puti o lomo la ye ta biti o puti o di o kolo po mo o da di ko ire ni be o di don don wan la ti sini. In the Bible, we read about the rich man and the Lazarus. Ni no bi be ni a ka ito ni pa o kuno loro ni ati Lazarus. The Lazarus, the beggar man, died. Lazarus to di alagbe oku. The Bible did not mention anything about his burial. But we know that they buried him. The body was so good. If I had not taken the sin, you born a mother, you pay no sin. But the rich man was buried. You born up in all the ashes. So every human being that died 
will surely be buried. They will bury a beggar. They will bury a madman that died on the street. The person that was stabbed to death will be buried. There is no human being. I've never seen human being that was died and uh, he stink and stink and stink on the face of the ground. Mio out barrier. Mio rie nyo kom to pudo ili aye nyiri to jekwe wo si le o mo jera o jera titi zori le be to jekwe wo si except if they could not discover the remains. Aya fiti wo bari o kwe to ori bito kusi. But we are talking about the best barrier. Boni ba yan so ni pa ono isi kuti o da jilo because we are Bible believers. And everything we are doing as a believer, we must take our influence from the Bible. Whenever you are doing something, you are challenged. You must be able to point to the Bible and told them that somebody did it. The best barrier is Jesus Christ the Lord. Jesus Christ is the the Savior of the world. The Son of the Living God. The friend of sinners that came to this world purposely to die for you and I. And it all was here, 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 was not to marry. To boy, the teacher of you was a yak, he said, not to obey a woman without marriage, he could not have children. Like Yako, he has no children. For dear mom, he didn't build one house. For quite a car, he didn't buy one square inch land. Then he could fit dry, he clean the four foot and cook it on the whole. He was the son of the most high God. He is the only one of the Lord, the Savior, all the other Bala. He's the only one that loved. When you're talking of love, it is Jesus Christ alone that love. Jesus Christ is because the Bible says, Greater love has no man than this, that a man did what? Lay down his life. Even your wife cannot lay down her life for you. I'm telling you. Only Jesus can do that. Jesus Christ in the call of the Shayan to show to you that is the only one that had love. The real love. A yin lati fi hawape on the colony fair and it tapas on the polo fair is a is an unwelcome savior. Oh yeah, Lubala, Tia Layo Taoba. He loved, but he was hated. Only few accepted him. Only few embraced Jesus Christ. Even those who are following him, it is not all of them that really love him. I want to let all the people know One time. He went to somewhere. And one of them that loved him made a supper for him. Amen. Amen. There's nobody in life that hates good things. You may be condemning it sometimes because you have no opportunity of it. Nobody likes suffering. Nobody likes suffering. 
Nobody likes to eat what he don't what he didn't like. Oh, say the only fancy at my girl to know to see. Nobody likes to wear rag. Oh, say the only fancy at my work, sir. Nobody likes to live in a leaking house. Oh, say the only fancy at my belly little Joe. Nobody likes to be a beggar. Oh, say the only fancy at the Alago. Everybody wants to be a giver. Oh, look at who fed me for the man before we know. Problem is that you don't have. What again? To go while I told you to go away, you need to tell them as if you are away now. Jesus was rich, but because of us, he became poor. Yes, to go to the Lord of me, to go to the Lord of the Talita. Then he came to this world. Oh, I was in a year, yeah. God inspired a woman like you. Oh, no, what miss you, Billy, for a new Billy Pitye? She saw him. Only to look at him. Oh, who? To look at his mouth. Only walk with you. This is the savior of the whole world. Only a ye in your Lubalara, yeah. The one day he's going to die a brutal, a wretched death. And it's going to be your job for your good, if boy, that is all you could have here. And he's going to do that to take away the sins of the whole world. A idiot is here, that is why she is a law. What can I do? Kidney a village to comfort this man. That is true for you, Nino. What can I do? Kidney a village at least to make him free, to make him realize. That somebody loved him. Kine mile she si la ti je ko mo pe eyan ko le feno e. What can I do to appreciate this man? Kine mile she la ti fi mo re mi on so ko ye. What can I do to make him happy? Kine o ti mo le she la ti bu inu re do. Then she went inside. Nipa no ni obirin wo le lo and took a very expensive ointment. Be no wa mu oro ikura e to ni ye lori lo polopo ni. Very expensive ointment. Oh, no, no, you can't tell me you don't know what to Maybe it's a, a raw material that they can use to produce another ointment that they can that can worth millions of whatever money they are spending. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, no, you don't know. Let me share or follow up. Oh, no, no, you can't tell me you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. But this woman is not diluted. She won't open it. Then on your wall, let the devil's of one way 
Oshé. Even if you bury her, they remains with golden coffins. Be a man that see a poor, but no possibility of you would have Go and open the sepulchre after 30 days. Lay your body and no she body here. You are going to meet termites. Oh, dear, Rimbe, oh, no, you come. She is not carrying that coffin to anywhere. No, Bible, you better pass it, you know, if you Even if you bury her with Bible. Be a man that see, be very sick. She is not going with it. Oh, you move, be very, you know, you have to go with the word of God that was sown into her heart. <laughs>
As a believer, it is time to be wise. Therefore, I shall end all of you. By the word of God, you will take care of your parents. Either she believes, or she did not believe. If it's not your business, salvation is of the Lord. Take care of your mother. Take care of your father. Take care of your sister. It is not when they die, then you're going to be pouring spikenard ointment upon them. She will not feel it. She didn't see it again. It is nonsense to them. They are going to glory. I want it lost in go. If they know the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let her alone. If she does not do it, if I you by the way, take care of her mother. And you go to the yare. Buy clothes to your mother. I show you yare. That good clothes will not bite her body. I show to die. So you are about what? For the man who tell her the good food you are eating. Your mother is also is entitled to eat it. Oh, yeah, that that you want, yeah, in your head, no, for no. Oh, let all that you do, oh, yeah, yeah. After all, she gave birth to you. Oh, no, that beer. Without her, you can be. No, no, yeah, go. Oh, beer, oh, they were lying. The first barrier is to take care of your mother and your parents when they are alive. Is it good, your dad, you know? Oh, no, they not to talk to you, yeah. That be my boy, yeah, my boy, she's been lying. My joy here now. Ah, your mini. Why are you preach here? Is it the most of the ones who live? Not our mother is a believer. Oh, the boy. She's not a believer. Forget about what we're doing. We're not entertaining ourselves. In the village, they demanded for cow. When she was alive. When they don't know where she was. Whether she was blind. Whether she could not walk. Nobody will ask her. Until when they die. Only about a month. That is the life of the Gentiles. They rejoice at death. One man, you are the people. Ask them, when did they see her last? Many of us hear that they're going to buy new clothes because of our death now. Oh, poor one, it's all about when she was alive, how much did you spend to her? When did you buy? When did you see good fish, good food, good medicine that is good for an old woman, and you buy it to give to her when she still alive? Iba wo dera eja toda tabi oje toda tabi o bu toda to ye arugo iba wo dera iru kope ti e fi fu ti ba to shin bela ye. You didn't do it. Eh o she iru kope. You know that she is that. You want to buy it to the cook? Then you went and buy clothes. Let one or a show. Very tall, heavy. Ah, tige le la la. And you begin to dance. Be le be di jo. And people will say she buried her mother. Ah, when you want to go, oh si yare. You didn't bury your mother. Oh si yare o. You mock your mother. Oh boy yare ni. Because everybody knows how your mother died. Ni do you want to go in your lomo? You put in yare. Oh, what is cover? What is dia? Before she died. What is dia? Did it all be cool? They even sent to you. What the Russians say? Maybe in South Africa where you are. Boy, oh, oh, and he goes to Africa. Who are no? He said, Ah, I have no time to come. Why did me Australia? You are about you. I have no time to come. No, right here. You are going to die. You want me to walk out? You can shut up, plane to come. Oh, the way I call you, frufu, I like that you go mad, baby. Shame to such attitude. It is just for you, my baby. Let her alone. If it's there, let her pour from me. I get your dad. Let me lorry. Let him. Let my daughter, let my friend, let that church member, let them cook that good fish for me. Let me eat it. I will feel the aroma of it. Take your mom, me, take your mom, Billy, me, take your mom, John, me, take your mom, me, take your stay, and just your dad, you go stay, go for me, go to the bad way, go to the bad way, go to the bad Look at Isaac, and what is that? Suppose he has given up the ghost. So why do you say Isaac is the good one? And Jacob or Esau, then they went and brought some palatable to 
Did Jacobu, Tabiso, Toma Lossi of the Aladidu, and put it at his grave? Toma Bessi Bodje, Father bless me. What if Babasu refu me? Father bless me. Babasu refu me. If that's an attitude of idol worshipper. Hey, you think Shesi I want Bolisha? Look at Ivy. You go on and what is that? That's my going home, Mr. Tan. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I want to bless somebody. Oh, that's too refined. Go and Kill permission for me. Only a lot of fire and for me. Listen to 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 me. Listen to
the day of repentance. Let her alone. And this is He's doing it for the days of my birth. Oh, she is sorry. Oh, just the I don't know the parents of the little one. But to buy the one, I want to be, I want more. I want more. You and those who you. I want to take care of your mother. I want more. Yeah, those who you. If you want to touch you, I want. I thank God for them. But you are very poor. Lord, you are not ashamed. Lord, you buy your job. You want. Because they did their best. It is not in their power. So they her life. I came there to uh, life assurance that I wanted to preach. So the last day when I closed the meeting, I was told that was told that I was told that I was told that I was told that I was that Found that was in the boot of my car. Uh, they only no one saw me. I no more to me. What from our late mother? Well, I did do it. Yeah, why you want it? But we know before me. What a good mother she. Eh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. What an example of it. Eh, oh, I pray that God will get. Thank God for him. Uh, her children. I do better one of my own rest. And the reality. I tell you, but on rest. I took care of her. Eight years old, you rest. And she did not die in sorrow. Do you think I'm going to go? Who's anybody? Everybody that is going to die. Oh, boy, you're too cool. We should only be killed by one thing or the other. Oh, that's the way. Oh, what are you? You're not sure if I could rest. Nobody just died. Because you're going to talk on the day, cool. Then we say, ah, suppose we know. No, there's nothing you can do. If his or her time has come. Ah, well, your mama, so we are. Come on, you're going to have party money. I'm going to go back. 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 i am going to go back 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 i am going Change your attitude. Go and visit your mother. Your mother, yare wo. Buy something and give to your mother. Now, don't tell me what you want. Don't wait until you have a bigger thing. My brody, but don't you want that small thing? Okay, get ready. He's my pastor, and I'm proud of him. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you richly in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to thank the Lord for those of us that have taken time to be here in the short notice. Uh, again, to apologize because, uh, like I said, no, nobody plans for death, you know. So we made posters very late and tried to pass the message around to the neighbors you know today is a walking day and some has just started coming now but i really appreciate you all in the name of the lord jesus christ Amen. special thanks to pastor billy joseph Ogundipe, the preacher this evening god bless you sir Amen. and all uh, the elders of the church that has come with him and uh, the church from ijoko in Ogun State. You're all welcome in Jesus' name. I also want to thank all the family members that are here from the, my mother's side, my father's side. You're all welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. There are ministers of God in our midst. Uh, many of them have not seen for a long time and yeah, I appreciate you that have gotten the message either on Facebook or so and you've come in a short while. Pastor Mwolo, uh, Pastor Obot, uh, Pastor Oche, Pastor Aka Jehovah, Chima, all of you, the Lord bless you richly in Jesus' name. Yeah. Uh, I want to really thank Mama's neighbor, my late mom's neighbors. The Lord bless you all. You've been very wonderful neighbors. How she will speak very nicely of everybody around. And uh, I cannot but say a very big thank you. Uh, I'm here just to give a little testimony because we actually planned that this program should begin at 5, which we did, and should finish about now, because it's not a night program. Amen. Praise the Lord. But I see that there's no way we can help. That's why we have allowed the message to come. After this time, I believe uh, that more uh, opportunity we're giving to neighbors to come and appreciate uh, God and 
thank God for the life of Mama, say something, and and that would happen simultaneously with the uh, feeding, because we have something to just share. We are not mourning. Amen. Uh, I want to thank the Lord that I had a very wonderful mother. He gave me a good mother. Uh, well, we lost our father uh, some eight years ago, and our mother was able to call us together. In fact, she spoke to me. She said to me, uh, you know, you are the head of this family right now. It doesn't matter whether you are able or not. Once, once an, a situation has crossed any man's path, it means the man is able. So he said to me, you need to gather your siblings together and bind them as one. And he said, do all you can, I will support you. But there's some interesting thing. I've been my mother's pastor for 18 years. I've been a pastor now for 18 years until just three, four weeks ago, or a, a, a month ago, she just passed a month ago. And uh, as a field person, I, I travel a lot, but there's something I cannot do. Each time I'm going for the trip, I have to tell her, say, mom, I'm going for the trip. She asks me, where do you go to? She doesn't even know the places. Uh, I'm going to Uganda, I'm going to uh, Australia, I'm going to everywhere. She said, okay, come. She said, okay, come out, meet me so, so time. So I would drive and come home. And she would tell me, kneel down. I'm a pastor, but I'm a son. So I will kneel down. But I see her, she will kneel down with me, and she'll begin to pray, and she will cry, and she will tell the Lord, uh, my son is going to this place, and he doesn't know the people. As he goes, uh, bring him back to me. Amen. Amen. And each time, I, when I get there, I call people, I will still call my mom and say, Mom, I'm here. And she asks me, what kind of food are they eating there? I tell her, she doesn't know those things or whatever that she knows. And then I come back and I come to see her. Uh, I noticed that my mom, she never cared about the material things. There was nothing she could not give out. Because... Uh, I, I used to give her things, and the next moment I would see that thing in somebody's, either it's something, I said, I, I asked my brother, I said, ah, she has given it out. So, but, uh, we tried as much as we, as we wanted to make her value those things, but she valued us more. Amen. And I appreciate it so much. Now, it was after her passing away that things really got clear to me, because uh, early this year, or I met her uh, when I came back from, a, from my last trip in, in December, and she asked me a question. She said, son, he said, uh, do you think Jesus will come in 2017? I say, I can't say. She said, ah, she, he better come up because some of us are tired. I just thought it was, uh, because she, if you stay around her, those of us who are neighbors, church members, you know she's very funny. So I just thought, okay, it's one of our jokes. Then, uh, I started noticing that she was giving out gifts, lots of gifts to people, sewing clothes for many children and so, and things like that. So I just thought it was, you know, uh, but even today, I have met a close neighbor who told me she was visited by Mama on Friday and told this, my auntie, she's also my aunt, that she's going to her new house. Praise the Lord. So uh, even we are, I know we are, we, are, we are building something for her, but it's not ready. So how can she be going to the new house that is not yet uh, open? So she said she's going to a new house. She told that woman she's going to a new house. And the woman said she was looking very good and very charming. And she wore a particular clothes and said, oh, my, my, son's, uh, uh, my son's wife gave me this and things like that. Only for her to come back the next day and heard that uh, the story had changed. So uh, I want to thank the Lord. Uh, I've really been touched by this message, and while the pastor was preaching, uh, I was looking at at some of my brethren that are here, because uh, it's what we usually say, that uh, we could make big promises, I want to buy my mom an aircraft, but if you give her Tom Tom from your hand, it is something, because she appreciates it, because I believe she knows our level, praise the Lord, and uh, we did 
our little best. Uh, December, Mama went for a checkup at the police clinic here. She has this NHIS, so she went there. They did all the tests for her. She made about uh, seven or eight tests, different tests. And the drug she came back with was paracetamol, uh, multivitamin, this uh, red medicine, whether it's multivite, and uh, yellow capsule, uh, yellow tablet. Finished. They didn't give her any other thing more than that. They checked her eyes, they checked everything. So it is not how healthy you are that determines that you are living. Not how sickly you are that determines that you are going to die. So I want to thank the Lord. I appreciate every one of us uh, that is here this evening. And I pray that we take this message back home and uh, we put it into action and let the Lord actually bless all of you. Amen. I have a song to sing. Uh, I, I don't know. I still will not say something. There's something my elder was saying. I want to share that testimony because I believe there are some of people who are here. Maybe my, my friends are here who witnessed that situation. We we were four of us. We were going to Ilay Fair to back to school the day Nigeria was playing Zambia Nations Cup final. So because of the football match, we did not hear the news that Ilefe and Modaike was under fire. So when the match finished and Nigeria won, we left as students, we left that night driving to Ibadan. We got to Ibadan, we still picked some of our friends there, spent some time and we got to Ilefe. We started noticing that the driver just stopped us somewhere and then people discarded and went their ways. Then we started seeing corpses, you know, bodies on the road. Then they told us, a student met us and told us, ah, what are you, you will just keep running or find where you... So we now ran to the police station. On getting to the police station, the police station was empty, guns everywhere, police, dead bodies everywhere. So we did not know what to do, so we said, okay, let us come out and stand by the roadside. This was a few minutes to 10 p.m. Those of us who know, uh, Brother Innocent, you are here, Oga Innocent, you are here. If you met Frayo, you ask him, he was there that day, you know, to Junior and uh, Dan Baba. So, so, what happened as we stood there, wanting to cry, there was no telephone those days. Uh, things like that. We didn't have, we didn't have, I don't know, okay, there was telephone, but it was not very, we didn't just have it everywhere. There was no telephone actually. We just waited, and then it was getting to the time of the curfew. An old woman on a walking stick just came, walking like this. She just passed at our back, and we were just watching. So the woman passed us and stopped and said, "You come." And my friend wanted to say, "Not you, say you." So I pointed myself. He said, "Yes, say come." We went. I, I started to say, "Don't go and meet her." I said, "Do you know?" I said, "Let me just go." He said, "Come, follow me. Let me." Put people where you'll be safe this night. I'm doing this because of your mother. My mom was still alive. So I know that some of us, like uh, Auntie Umakam, you know that my mom used to be, those, there are no accidents any longer in this road. In the 90s here, this road, there was no day that you would not hear boom, bam, just like that. Mom would just come out and rush people to general hospital, and none died in her hands. You know that kind of risk. So this man took us and went into the, the, into the village and we entered in a house, an old house we slept. She gave us a call and moi moi, we ate. By the time morning came, we had a lot of people were standing at the door. They said, those inside there, just come out. We wanted to come out. There was no road for us to come out. Cobwebs, that place that we claimed that we entered from, there was no road again to come out. The cobwebs of that place was not the cobwebs of two years or three years. So we just had to bend down and we came out. They say, how do you enter here? We start to explain. We told these stories, this story, more than seven times. They would go and call this family, come and hear. Come. They, then at the end of the day, they said, that mama who owns this house died some nine, ten years ago. But you know what that did? Uh, we became a part of the family of that family. We used to, we, we started getting school fees from two angles. Those, that family took care of us till we left school, but, and we just we were cared for. But we always talk about it and we laugh. We say, ah, they say, because of your mother. And I cherish that. You know, because God can pass, use an, you pass through an angel any, any, in any form. 
to, to pass a help to any of us. So I want to thank the Lord and I say one more time, may the Lord bless us and may we hear this message and, and believe it in Jesus' name. So this song says, uh, if you have it, Brother Gideon, you have any song, you humble thyself in the sight of the Lord. Okay. It's taken from 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse uh, 6. Humble thyself in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. Amen. Can you help me?
Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. God bless you.